today we're going to talk a little bit more about working within WordPress, but also too what we're going to do is I'm going to actually take you through as far as the media elements are concerned. So whenever you're building your websites as far as WordPress or any content management system is concerned, you are normally going to have an area whereby it's going to focus strictly on media. This can be graphics, videos, and audio. Notice you have two options here where you actually can view your current library of media elements that have been copied into your WordPress folder, but you also actually have in numerous locations here, both on your sidebar, but also right at the top here, you can choose to add new. Now, just to show you what happens here, and if you are looking for free uh, Creative Commons type of um, images and media, there is a website that I do include on the Blackboard called pixabay.com. Pixabay has grown immensely over the last several years where you have multiple free images, videos, and music that you can work with. So to give you a for instance here, if I'm under images here and I look for cat, here you can see I have a lot of cat pictures available and all I'd have to do is click on one and over on the side here I have a free download button that I can come in I'm going to actually take down the size a little bit as far as my resolution and choose to download. Now, yes, you may have to go through and do the CAPTCHA. However, if you really wanted, um, if you really find yourself using Pixabay a lot, I'd encourage you to actually join the website. And then I'm going to do one more demo here just so you can see two types of media uploaded. I'm going to come up to the search bar here and I'm going to switch over to video. You can also try music if you like. It's kind of the same idea. And I'm going to see if I can find a video of a cat. So to help as far as loading time is concerned, they are just showing me the bars here. So what's coziness? OK, so that's a nice video of a cat. And I'm just hovering over the link here. So I'll go ahead and grab this too. And I'm going to take this down to 960 by 540. Okay, so both of these have now been downloaded to my downloads folder. So I can actually come back to the media folder and I can go in and select my files. So making sure I'm in download, here are those two images, the image and the mp4, and I'm going to say open. And there we go. You see how they pop up here. One thing that WordPress does for you whenever you are setting up for a content management system is it will actually make a copy of the content into your overall site website. So to show you here, what I've done is I've navigated down into the WordPress folder under htdocs. And if I navigate under content and I go to uploads, here's the year 2021, the month 09, and here you can see a lot of what, first off, what WordPress does for you is it makes different types of the graphics for you as far as image sizes. And then you can see my two videos included over here. So now that I have that in place, I could actually come back and maybe I'll navigate under pages. And let's see here. We were working on the front page. So what I'll do is I will under pages, I will go to welcome to learning all about Ellie and we're going to do edit. And this is going to open my block editing. So maybe I change this block here, learn all about kitties. And then I already have some images here, but I, what I might want to do is actually come in here. I'm going to delete these out. So I'm just highlighting and deleting to give myself a little bit of space here. And what I'm going to do is come up under my block inserter. And I'm going to take a look here as far as some of the blocks that I have. So maybe I say I'd like to insert an image. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And it's going to show you your block here for the image. Now you have several options. You can either reference an image on the internet. We can upload at this point, or I can reference my media library. Since I just went through the process of uploading to the media library, I'm going to go ahead and click on that. 
it's going to give you the option again that if you want to upload, you can. However, I'm going to go over to my media library. And here you can see my graphics. So I'm going to add some alternate text. And I think this was, yeah, it's like main coon cat. We'll add a description. Uh, sneaking cat black fur. And I'll go ahead and select. And there you go. Now your image is placed. As far as the image goes, you can add a caption and I could maybe say, this is an example of a cat. You could also set up a link as well. You also have some other options as far as adding subscripts or changing your text color. And then lastly, overall, as far as the overall item is concerned, you could actually come in. You could kind of reposition. Like right now I have this spacer here that honestly I could probably get rid of at this point and just kind of take that out. And then I could also come back. I'm going to select my image again. Just so you can see, you do have some styles that if you wanted to kind of switch it up. So maybe I want to have a frame in there. Or maybe I want to do rounded. Uh, you know, so you can get a lot of, you know, quick effects if you're looking at it from a standpoint of, you know, not having, you know, a lot of digital editing background. The last thing to point out whenever you're working with the media is just you want to make sure we've made a lot of changes to our page here. And oops, I didn't realize I had a spacer there. I'll actually get rid of that so that comes up a little higher. You want to make sure any time that you try to go through, it's going to pop up and say preview or update. You want to make sure that you click update to update your page. Once you've done the update, you will be able to go back to your WordPress icon in the left-hand corner, and then it will let you navigate back to the pages. So let's also say now, let's take a quick look at videos. What I have here is I have a page specifically about Ellie, about cats. So once again, I can come in, I can click edit, and it's going to open the editor tool. And we can see down here, I already have a little bit of a paragraph just talking about cats. But maybe what I want to do now is under my block editor, I want to come in now and say I'd like to add a video. I would like to clarify something regarding video media here. You have a media section and mainly this is for media that you are going to be moving with your WordPress site. However, you do have the option that if you scroll down, there is an embed option. So I could take a YouTube video, take the embed code, and have it uh, hosted that way as well. It depends on the company and depends on how you're designing the WordPress or the CMS. Some companies, they will have their information locally, but if they're utilizing social media through YouTube, Twitter, etc., they might be hosting their videos up on YouTube where instead of actually having them locally, they're just going to embed them from YouTube. But to take you through this process, I'm going to go ahead and add a video. And once again here, very similar to your images, I can go to that media library link. I can pick cat. So maybe I call this instead of cat as far as snoozing kitty, we add a ca caption, cats need sleep and description white cat taking a nap. I say select. And there you can see the video has been added. I still have that caption option. One thing Ellie likes to do is nap. And then from there, I could now come in, I can update that page. And then we have our preview option. So you could also double check too. You know, what is that video going to look like on tablet, mobile, or you can just preview the page in a whole new tab here and you can see your video playing through. So I'm going to X out of this and I'm going to come back and go to the WordPress, but that's pretty much the overview of media in WordPress. So again, you can upload your media elements. You can also do audio, which I didn't show here. 
Or again, whenever you're working on the pages and doing your layout, you could, once again, under the block options here, I could choose to add, we'll browse all here, and we could choose to just embed an element from an external website instead as well.